Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you these sketch effects. This effect will have a different outcome on every photo that you use. Um, Color-wise, that's just the way it's going to work. But um, I'll show you two different um, pictures that I've used just to show you the difference. Um, so I've opened a picture of this lovely lady here. And um, with this picture now opened, I'm going to go over here to my layers section. Oops, what the hell? Ah, all right, there we go. And on the background layer, I'm going to duplicate by doing a control J. I'm going to hide the background layer just because we don't need it right now, but we will, we will soon. So now I'm going to go up here to adjustments and I'm going to decorate the uh, copy layer, turning it black and white. And now that it's black and white, I'm going to duplicate the black and white layer, layer one copy, go back up to image and adjustments, and I'm going to go he click here and go to invert. Ah, there we go, invert. Right? Okay. Then with the invert layer, we're going to go over here and we're going to, go to change it to color dodge. It'll look white like that. That's normal. A little black here and there is cool too. Then we're going to go up here to blur in our filters and click on Gaussian blur. 12.5 is the uh, settings. Click OK and you should have something like that, similar to that. Maybe not exactly like that. Hold the Alt key now and go to layer and then merge visible should get layer two. See that? Okay, you should have that. All right, you got it? Okay. Now that you have that, change the layer two that we just merged to multiply. And with multiply settings, change the opacity down to 50%. All right, just like so. Now we're going to make the background layer visible. We're going to do a control J in the background layer. Background copy. You're going to now move the background copy all the way to the top. All right, right there right there and change it to color. Now you can be all set and done right here but because the color to me is a little bit too bright I'm going to alter the opacity a bit to my liking. This is personal preference however you want your color to look. And once you've done your opacity on this you're good to go. And that's the effect. Um, it may not look too sketchy like but it's still pretty cool. That's the my final outcome on that one. And this is another one here as shown. So see, you see the difference? Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.